Hey guys, we're here with the non Bath and Body Works home fragrance. So first thing I have for you is a Pisces candle from Dollar Tree. It's about this big, it's three ounces. And I finished that. The smell was weird. I don't know what, it doesn't have a scent listed, but you can smell something. Um, so bought the Pisces candle for my birthday. It was a dollar. It was nice to have around and it would have been nice to pick up like every sign to gift but they smelled so bad that I was like, no. So would I repurchase those if I saw them again? No. I have here a Goose Creek Apple Palm Twister and I would not repurchase this for several reasons. And I do have a review up on my channel about their hand soaps. Um, so it, this was before. So you can see that, you know, I'm not biased, but I wouldn't repurchase it again for several reasons. I have a Nivea Silk Mousse Body Wash and this does not smell like vanilla caramel, even though that's the scent that's listed. And I think that might be why it ended up at Dollar Tree. Um, it was 6.8 ounces, which is really good for a name brand item at Dollar Tree. So of course I picked it up, but it's like vanilla caramel with an added floral note is what they didn't say. Um, but it wasn't terrible in consistency. Would I repurchase again? Yes, not in this scent if i saw them again another dollar tree item this is bodycology coconut hibiscus and no dollar tree did not create bodycology we all know that they're a separate entity within themselves however this is the only place i've ever seen the coconut hibiscus in the shower cleansing shower jelly i love this stuff so much that i hoarded it the scent is so good back when i saw it at dollar tree i picked up pretty much all of them um, not at the same time. I don't shop like that. I pretty much buy one or two every time I go. And then if I keep going back and seeing them still, I grab them. It's meant to be for me until they run out. So I still have about four more of these. Would I repurchase this in a heartbeat? Even for more than a dollar. And I think I've said that before. I would repurchase this for more than a dollar. However, I have tried their shower gel. I don't love their shower gel and would not purchase it because I do know that they do have a shower gel in the scent. I don't like the formula of their shower gel because it's a shower gel slash bubble bath. And anytime someone slash bubble bath something, the formula is off for me. <laughs> Here's a Glade and this is Aqua Waves. This was just okay. Um, I wouldn't repurchase it though. It's a dollar at Dollar Tree or as you guys always tell me 98 cents at like a Walmart or something um, or maybe a Target. I don't really frequent Walmart. When I do go to Walmart, it's strictly for wax. Um, and then Target, I just haven't been to Target in a while. I don't know. So I finally finished this Goose Creek in Bedtime Stories. This is pretty much their version of, it's pretty much their version of Marshmallow Fireside. They don't list the notes on their candles, but I would not repurchase again for several reasons. The burn is clean guys. We can't, we can't front about that. The burn is clean. However, I, I just don't like this style of jar and the actual scent notes of the toasted marshmallow scent smell better from Bath and Body Works. Here we have a, this was actually a gift for my birthday. This is, um, I think this is from Target. Find your happy place under the sky, under the starlit sky, chamomile and sandalwood. It was different. It's not something I would have picked up for myself, but I'm always happy to see stuff that my friends think about me, like the sense that my friends think about me for. And I am not a huge sandalwood person, but with the chamomile, it was really good. Um, this so much was not, it didn't scream kitchen to me. And I usually like one wicks in the kitchen, but for a one wick, it was throwing, which I, I also am not partial to one wicks. Here is thank you next. And I was so sad to finish this for, I wanted to do a video on a comparison and I think I'll keep it around because you can still smell it in the cap and whatnot. And I'm sure I can get one little, nope. There's like a little drop in there, like the droppiest little drop. But yes, Thank You Next is an Ariana Grande scent. I got it in the body mist to try it for cheaper because yes, these are even cheaper than the travel size perfume sprays. I didn't love it enough to repurchase in the body mist, but I can say that across the board for all of her body mist. That's just a sneak peek into the video in the future about all of her, her product line as far as scent and fragrance goes. 
Next, we have a limited edition Citrus and Sunrise. This is Juicy Citrus and Fresh Berries, and it's Glade. When I repurchased this, it smells like vitamin C to me, so probably not. Um, even though citrus scents typically go well in the bathroom, not this one. I, I didn't enjoy that one that much. Next, we have a Better Homes and Gardens plug-in. Um, I was sat there trying to wait for this to empty out for the longest, only to find out when I pulled it out that I had squished it in there. So it probably was never going to get finished, and that little amount was going to stay there. So this is lemon, Meyer lemon, and something else. I could not smell this for anything, and I unfortunately have another one. So I'm going to have to finish it. Would I repurchase this scent? No. Is, is it even possible to purchase these anymore? I have no idea. I haven't been back to Walmart in so long. Probably since the last video that I posted like a home fragrance vlog style haul. Here I have Aloha and this is Face and Body Scrub by Pink. I would not repurchase this. It did not smell like aloe. Aloe. Ooh, ha. It didn't smell like that. It smelled like watermelon or cucumber melon or some sort of melon. And I don't love melon, so no, I would not repurchase that. Um, it was during their semi-annual sale this year that I purchased that, though. I finished a Rihanna Rebel. I always get this name wrong. And it's not labeled anywhere on the bottle. Yeah, okay. The, the, the nude version of her line. I finished this. This was a little too powdery for me. And at some point, halfway through the bottle, I was on the fence of repurchasing so glad I waited to the end I'm telling you it is a virtue and I know it's scary um I I also get the fear of missing out FOMO anxiety that comes with what if it's not there when I finish what if it's not there and so I experienced this terribly with this scent because I just kept going back and forth on whether or not I loved it enough to pick up a full body a full a full what was I trying to say a, not a full body a full <laughs> a full bottle but the crazy part about this is this scent has been out so long and it doesn't appear to be going anywhere. So why do we get like that? Explain someone, science, please, science me. And then I think the last thing, I had some um, hygiene stuff in here, but I'm not gonna do hygiene videos. Uh, it's just, I used to do them, it, 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 like as far as empties. I, no, I know it's a big thing right now, but I think I'm just gonna pass personally. So this is Angel. Oh no, this is, it doesn't have, to, this is a Glade candle, but it was Angel something, Angel Whispers, I want to say. And I only bought this because of one reason. Kathleen Lights was talking about, she had this candle years ago and she still has like this much left to burn and she doesn't want to burn it, but now she's recognizing that the scent is leaving. Um, but she, it was like one of her favorite candles when she started YouTube. So I was like, oh, I want to smell it. So I bought a two pack at Ollie's. It was just randomly sitting at Ollie's, just one of them. And I really liked it. And I have another one. So would I repurchase Angel Whispers? I would. All right, you guys, that's everything for the non Bath and Body Works slash name brand home fragrance slash fragrance. I don't know what's called this video, you guys, obviously. Anyways, like, comment, and subscribe if you've gotten this far and have a great day.